go me. This is a 14 day work stretch. Good morning, you guys. Wow, my hair is really messy. Just woke up, it's currently 6 a.m. ish. Um, I just popped on the scrubs that I'm gonna wear for the day. Going for this little cute pediatric top um, with little cute figurines on it. Honestly, even if I didn't work in peds, I'd wear cute stuff like this. Um, let's just fill in our brows and put on some chapstick and then we'll head out the door. Our shift starts at seven. So this is the reality of nursing. It is pitch black when you leave the house in the morning and pitch black when you get back. Literally have to use the flashlight on my iPhone in order to see where I'm going. I used to be the kind of person who couldn't get up in the morning and couldn't stay up at night, but nursing has really taught me a lot about <laughs> pushing my own boundaries. It is 6.35 a.m. I'm here. I'm just sitting in my car. I usually do a little just pre-shift like mental sanity check i don't know what to call it i like to sit in my car and just think about nothing for a little bit kind of just clears my mind and makes sure that i'm ready for the day but this week is a little special because i this is my 14 day work stretch 14 day and i'm not working in the hospital for all 14 days but i am working 14 like days in a row without a day off this is currently day nine so after today i have five more days if i wanted to i could put my name on a list to be called off tomorrow and i said no because i had such an awesome assignment yesterday and i wanted to be back but fingers crossed that i still have that assignment slash don't get floated is there anyone honestly in this world who enjoys getting floated leave a comment down below if you hate floating or if you love floating because i'd love to hear your thoughts anytime i have to flow like my heart Heart, like breaks a little bit I don't know it's not it's not it's really not that bad but it's just like sad not being on your unit with like all your nurse friends you know probably head in there around 45 ish I am not probably don't have to like look up anything I'm finally at my one point I don't know I'm like a couple months past my year mark and so I just feel so much more comfortable the pre-shift anxiety is definitely way way better if I take more than like a couple of weeks off then yes it's I it still comes back and I still get nervous but otherwise it's so much better I still arrive a little early just to see like what's going on but nothing like when I was a new grad and I would show up like 30 40 minutes early in order to look everything up go me this is a 14 day work stretch i can't believe i'm pulling this off i never thought i'd be able to do this and i wouldn't recommend you do this all the time but i promise you you can do anything you set your mind to i'm so excited so we got some panera bread catering our attending is amazing and she always brings bagels for us on the weekends. Um, I'm going to pick one of these, but I was actually here yesterday and my patient from yesterday is still here, but they switched my assignment. I was a little bummed, but it's not too bad. Hopefully we'll still have a great day. It's been okay so far. Let's eat some breakfast. It's 11 a.m. My lunch is being heated up in the microwave. Um, I'm going to lunch a little bit early. I just had breakfast, but charge nurse is going to be busy a little bit later on, so um, I offered to go earlier. For lunch, we have some leftovers from yesterday. Just going to finish this and then get some snacks too. you guys okay i need to head to work but look how wrinkly my scrubs are let's be honest ain't nobody got time to iron their scrubs my morning routine has always consisted of a large glass of water and i'm also just trying to get ready for being healthier starting on my health goals before 2020 so every morning i do take my care of vitamins i keep them in my little drawer right next to my desk i've been taking their vitamins for quite some time now essentially how this works is you go online you take care of's five minute quiz it just asks you different questions about your fitness your lifestyle um, different habits that you have so different things that i focused on are for example digestive health 
let's be honest, you gotta keep those bowels moving. Care of is also really big on quality and sustainability. So their packaging is actually also compostable. For me, I don't have time to go to the pharmacy and pick up vitamins all the time. And so these are delivered straight to my door. I also keep a pack in my purse just in case I don't have time to take them in the morning, but really easy for that on the go lifestyle. Okay, let us take these and quickly head out the door before we're late. I can take all of them at the same time. Anyways, I really recommend taking the quiz to see what Care Of recommends, and you can use my code Mickey to get 50% off your first order. The link in the code will also be in the description box below. Okay, let's grab my keys and let's head out. We're gonna be late, so let's go. Hello, you guys, what is up? I'm back, I'm feeling a little bit more alive. Currently it's Tuesday, we're running out right now. It's 5.30 p.m., it's daylight savings just hit, so it's turning dark really, really quickly. We need to get a picture for our celebration for 100K on Instagram, yay! It's so excited. Oh my goodness, you guys, it is low-key dark. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get this photo. I could have totally gone. Okay, we got the stuff, we got the white wall. We're literally behind, like, I think this is Target. Seems like a nice white wall. We're gonna try to see if we can sneak a photo. It's really, really dark outside. I know the camera looks really bright. Update, wow, huge surprise. We did not actually get that photo, but my old phone was tripping out, so I figured I might treat myself and get myself the new iPhone 11. Honestly, adulting is so weird. It still confuses me that I can actually buy the things that I want. Okay, 40 minutes later, I finally decided that I want the green one, but they're gonna head to the back and grab it for us. We got the goods. The last one that I have is this white one. Um, I feel like I've always gotten like the silver or the white. You guys can hear Lucky crunching in the background. He's eating his dinner. I was like, you know what? Maybe I should switch it up a little bit. And so the phone that we got is, ta-da! We got the green one. I actually really, really dig it. I feel like green is like health, it's happiness, it's like nature, I don't know but I just had a really good feeling about the green ones. I got it completely unlocked and I got it in um, 128 gigabytes just because I film a lot of stories and content on here. And so my last iPhone was a 64 and it just could have been a little more, I feel like. This is so gorgeous, you guys. This is unreal. I'm just in awe of how beautiful this is. I'm not gonna take the plastic case off i need to order a case i didn't buy the case from the apple store obviously because the cases are like 50 dollars and we don't need to spend money like that comes with new unfortunately not airpods looks like airpods the way they packaged it they're just the headphones with the lightning cable and then obviously the charger wait this new process to set the phone up is so cool so i'm gonna scan this Okay, you guys, it has been a crazy week. I've been working like 80 to 100 hours a week. And so I just feel like I have not slept very much and don't really get any me time. But the last time I talked to you guys, I just picked up my brand new iPhone. Um, I think that was two days ago because I Amazon primed a package and now it's here. Ah, yay. Wait, is this what I ordered? Maybe this is my cover? I don't know. I'll link these down below too in case you wanna buy them because they were like so, so cheap. I think it was like three bucks, which is kind of crazy. Hopefully I don't need that. <laughs> I'm gonna do the honors right now, you guys. Okay, you ready? We back, I put the screen protector on and then also put the case on. I really like this. Hey you guys, so it is Saturday. I am chewing gum and that's really annoying so let me put that out. <laughs> okay, so it is Saturday. I finally got a full 10 hours of sleep. I went to bed last night with the most back pain, like everything in my body hurt 
like literally everything in my body hurt and I was like oh no this is not good like I probably have some serious problems going on I need to go see a doctor and I got some full you know my full Gucci 10 hours of sleep and now all of my problems have gone away so I think I just need to be better at taking care of myself and doing more self-care days but right now we're heading to the Apple store because I dropped it off on Thursday night so now it's Saturday morning and it's ready for pickup and thank God it didn't take until tomorrow because I really need to edit the YouTube video that is going to go up tomorrow and obviously I can't do that without my laptop. I am so dead you guys. So I used to come to this mall all the time and then I moved to LA for five years and where I live now is now so congested and there are so many people. So instead of parking at the mall, there's like a CVS across from it. So that's where I'm parked right now, but you guys look. I don't know if you guys can see, there is a towing truck literally right there and he just parked. I can't tell if he's coming here to like buy stuff from CVS or if he's like getting ready to tow people's cars. So. I'm gonna stick it out for a second and see what his plan is before deciding to leave my car. But you guys can't see, but the line to get into the parking lot for this mall is literally like 50 cars. So there's no way I'd be able to get in there. I'm so dead. So this woman who drives this car, this car right here, literally just left and went into the mall over there. And this guy was staring at her the whole time and now he's on the phone. So my friend is waiting in the car because we didn't want to both leave. I'm so out of breath. I need to work out more. Um, we're gonna get an update and see if they actually tow that car, but I'm going in to pick up my laptop. We got the baby back. Update, that towing truck totally pulled that Mercedes away, so thank God I didn't leave the car unattended. Anyways, we finished this week off, of course, with a very delicious meal. I can't believe I made it through the 14 days, but I'll see you guys on the weekend. Bye.